Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here with a full Intel guide for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. In this video, I'll be showing you all 45 of the available Intel items in order to grab the achievements or trophies, as well as to unlock some of the secret modes in the main menu. Now, on the kind of training mission SSDD, if you run past the pit and go to the left, there is a small bunker where you can find your first piece of intel. Now in the top right corner of the video at any time, you can see the name of the mission as well as the collectible number. So if you're following along, make sure your number matches mine. Next, we're on team player, working our way through a school. After taking out a few enemies, just hook around to the right and you should find this one sitting on a desk. Then as soon as we grab that one and exit the school out the back end, you can find a pretty obvious laptop here sitting on a crate. All of the Intel items in this game, similar to other Modern Warfares, are Intel that are on a laptop. And there's no kind of, you know, they're not really that well hidden. The game's generally pretty linear. And 10 years ago, collectibles were hidden in a different way. So they're all pretty easy. Now we're on the mission cliffhanger and McTavish just separated from us from for the first time. You'll notice my objective to the left hand side. But if I just run forward, there's a little bit of an outpost and I can go up the ladder to the top to find a intel. There's a bunch of enemies here that may spot you or attack you. So watch out. Then a little bit later on in cliffhanger, you'll meet back up with McTavish in the back of this kind of hallway. You'll come through this section as a mandatory part and he'll be to your left. Instead of going towards him, turn around and then look through the window to the right hand side and you'll have to melee through the window in order to grab the laptop through it. It's inside of this little hangar, not far from where we were. Then we'll be on the end of the mission using a snowmobile to get down the mountain. As we reach about 1,850 meters, slow down and instead of going left or right, go through the trees. Stick a little bit to the right and you'll notice the laptop sitting on the ground here. You'll have to actually ride over it with the snowmobile for it to count. We're now on the level takedown, dropping down into a new area of favelas. All of the civilians will scatter and some enemies will come out. Run forward into the back, into an open area, and then kind of run diagonally across into this short building with a little ladder that connects the top of the roofs and you can find an intel inside. A little bit later on in the mission, we'll be chasing through these tight corridors and eventually we'll take a right hand turn with a staircase in front of us and a green building with a ladder to the right. We'll climb up this ladder, watch out for the enemies and we'll go through the white door directly in front of us and we should notice a laptop on the desk as we enter. Watch out, there are some enemies here that may shoot at you. Now the next collectible can be found from that location. We'll travel through the building or we can go around from the backside. And as we exit, look to the left and there'll be a door at the top of a short staircase. Go inside of this area, then go into the kind of living room area. And on the ground, on a table, there will be your ninth intel. A little bit later on, we'll be chasing the enemy through the kind of streets and we'll come to a staircase where we take two right hand turns down a narrow path. A bunch of enemies will attack us in front and if we hook to the first door on our right, we'll enter a building and then we can go downstairs to reveal a bedroom with a nightstand and a laptop. This is connected to a balcony we were getting shot at from earlier. Now we're on Wolverines, working our way to the gas station. And as soon as we enter the gas station area, jump through the window to the actual cashier's area and you'll find the laptop on the counter. The next three collectibles on Wolverines are all found kind of in the open area. And I'm just going to grab them right away so I don't have to worry about them as I'm playing the mission. From the big sign to the right hand side as you exit the gas station, you should find the Burger Town. And if you go around back, you'll notice the trash can inside of a small little box here. And if you are able to secure it, make sure you do that and grab it to move on. Now Nate's will be our primary objective and you'll have to get to the roof. Instead of doing that, what I'm going to go to, when, what I'm going to do is go to the left to find the CRB Financial Bank Institute. Bunch of enemies here, but as we enter, 
go to the left hand side and go to one of the tellers in the back where it says online banking this game was made at a different time and you'll find your 12th uh, or your 13th actually intel and additionally from nate's we can go to the right hand side uh, right off the bat instead of going up to the roof and we can find a definitely not taco bell in the parking lot just jump on through one of the back windows and inside on one of the dining room tables you'll find your 14th now near the beginning of the level the hornet's nest you will have to proceed a bunch of trucks will come in with enemies we've taken them out and instead of going forward jump over to the right you'll notice a yellow building with an open door go inside of this yellow building and sitting on a table, we'll find the next intel. A little bit later on in the mission, a truck will come across from right to left and roll down a hill. A bunch of enemies will jump out and you'll take care of them. And you'll have to support some of your teammates here as you work your way past this basketball hoop. Before going up, make sure you look to the right underneath this little shack to find the next intel. Next, we have made our way a little bit further and we found the ice cream shop. Pelayo's Ice Cream, probably pronouncing it wrong, but if you follow the road and go about halfway up the hill, turn to the right to find a small little storefront. You can kind of go inside, it turns into a someone's house, and upstairs on the desk you can find another laptop. You'll then be forced through a building, and as you come out, there will be a soccer field in front of you, and a helicopter kind of leaving the area. Run across the soccer field to behind the other net, Look through the window to find the last intel for the hornet's nest. Moving on to Exodus. As you work your way down the street, there will be a fire truck. There will be a sign that says the Garden Villas and a little bit of a reception area. We'll go inside here and find an intel on the back desk. A ton of enemies will attack us though, so watch out. Then a little bit further down the road, there is a toll gate of sorts and you'll have to make your way through. Instead of going through, go inside of the booth to the right-hand side, and right as you enter to the right on a desk, find another laptop. Then we'll cross a bridge, and in the second house on the right-hand side, it's quite a big house with an open garage. There'll be a bun bunch of enemies, and uh, you know, you want to take care of them. But if you go inside through the front door, you want to work your way up the staircase, and then loop around. This upstairs area isn't very well modeled. There's only really a hallway, but in this hallway, another laptop. Then we are on the mission, the only easy day was yesterday. After breaching and getting the first hostages in the area, work your way up two sets of stairs and then through a doorway and look over your left shoulder on some shelves to find another laptop. Then we'll be a little bit later on and we'll have to use the C4 as a diversion and it'll open up this gate with a bunch of enemies who come out of these doors. So go inside of this first door to the right and you'll find more intel. Then after taking out a helicopter, you'll go around a corner and you'll have to follow your teammate up the stairs. After taking out the enemies, do not follow the teammate. Instead, go inside the building and behind the staircase, you can find another piece of intel. We're now on the mission, the Gulag. Near the beginning, instead of following the kind of formation at the door, go to the staircase directly in front of you and up the stairs through the door, you'll enter a small room. Not much here, but there is a collectible we'll want to grab. Very shortly after that, you'll enter inside of the underground tunnel. Directly in front of you will be a kind of control station and at the back end, there will be another collectible. We'll grab it before moving on. We'll then come to this area where we defended with some riot shields and the door finally opened. Work your way down the hallway and on your right hand side will be an open cell where some enemies will attack you. It's room number 327 and find another intel here. Last but not least on the gulag, you'll have a short cutscene where Soap and Price kind of meet each other and you'll be picked up to run away. Just look to your left as soon as you gain control of your character to find the intel on the desk. Make a quick run for it so you don't die though. Next, on the mission of their own accord, you'll come to a large indoor area and after it's cleared out, you'll have to follow your team. There'll be two elevators on your left and two on your right. The second elevator on your left will be opening and closing and there are some not alive people inside where you can also find an intel on the ground. Then, after going across some balconies, you'll have to mantle up and go to the top floor. 
after you turn the corner, there will be a couple of enemies here as well as a brown door directly in front of you. Shoot the enemy through that door, which will allow the door to open. And then what you can do is run inside and open the laptop. Next, we are on the level Contingency. After crossing a bridge and escaping an enemy vehicle, we'll follow Price to this pipeline. There will be a bunch of enemies here, but if you follow the pipeline and look a little bit to the left of it, you should notice a parachute hanging from the trees. So right underneath that parachute will be an intel. Watch out for the enemies, though. You'll eventually reach a small base in the mission and it'll prompt you to switch weapons because the sniper rifle is no longer very good. You'll run forward and directly in front of you a very obvious bunker with the number 33 on it will appear. Go inside, take out the enemies and on the far corner from where we entered, intel number 32. Then from that intel, go outside the door right next to you. Towards your objective, you'll notice a helipad on your left. So go up to that helipad, and in this helipad area, on the northwest corner, you will find another intel before moving on to the next level. So we skip the level Second Sun and move on straight to Whiskey Hotel. From the Oval Office, as soon as the door is open for us to leave, you can find the next laptop pretty much directly in front of us, a little bit to the left. We'll then reach a large room near the end of the mission with a chandelier and a mandatory staircase with some red flares at the bottom. We'll have to go up. I believe a timer is also going off at this point. But at the top of the stairs, turn to the right twice to notice this laptop and then quickly exfiltrate to do the mission successfully. We're now on the mission Loose Ends. You're free to grab this uh, pretty much right away as soon as you breach. Breach through the front door and then go upstairs, take a left-hand turn and breach through the next door. There will be some enemies inside that I've taken care of, but inside of this breachable room, we have an intel piece. So we're going to pick it up. Then what we're going to do is go downstairs to the basement where there are another two breachable doors. We will have to breach them as part of the objective anyways, so let's go ahead and do that. And once you reach the basement... Let's first go into the door on the right-hand side and enter into the far room. This is a bit of an armory. You can switch weapons, but also find collectible number 37. Then what we can do is turn around, head across the hall through another breachable door, which will lead us to the outside. In front of you, you'll find a boathouse, and next to the boathouse on a small little crate is our third out of three collectibles for this mission. Right at the beginning of the mission, the enemy of my enemy, look to your right hand side, drop down and find the laptop in the plane fuselage slash cockpit directly in front of you. You'll be spending your time during the mission working towards the objective. As you can see, it's about 115 meters away. We'll cross a little bit of a ditch and there will be a very obvious uh, plane cockpit that is on fire as soon as we climb up the hill. Go inside of this plane, plane cockpit and you will find number 40. Then the mission, just like old times, has four collectibles. Near the beginning, you will hide and allow a couple of enemies to cross your path. You'll take out one of the security guards and follow the path to the right of him, past him, and find another collectible item before following the path of the mission. Eventually, you'll be ambushed and the cave will open, allowing you to leave and do not leave. Instead, right next to the exit, turn to your left 90 degrees to find a table with the intel on top. So make sure you pick that up before leaving the cave. In the next cave, a bunch of enemies will repel from the kind of hole in the roof of the cave system. I've taken care of all of these enemies and before breaching the door at the end of the mission, make sure you go past everyone staying on the right hand side to find your laptop sitting on some crates. And now you're ready to breach the door. As soon as you breach the door, you'll want to take care of all of the enemies here. I don't even know how many there are. Target acquisition in these older games isn't too, too great. But once you're inside and have uh, control of your character, look to the left hand side on the far desk to find another laptop. Only one more to go. 
The final laptop is found on the mission end game as soon as the mission starts. It's pretty much directly in front of you on your left before boarding on the boat. I had to wait a fair bit of time for my trophy to pop. You may as well. But thank you so much for watching. If the video was helpful, don't forget to drop a like. Share this video with a friend. I hope you guys have enjoyed this game as much as I did. And hopefully I see you in the next one. Special thanks everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Double O. Peace.